Recently, we had a chance to spend some time with Chicago Bulls head coach Vinny Del Negro, who talked about what it takes to be a leader in today's NBA, as well as the growth of a rising young star, Derrick Rose. And now, your Chicago Bulls! You had a solid NBA career as a player. Now, what made you want to get into coaching? I was very fortunate to have, you know, great uh, coaches, great leaders, uh, you know, growing up in college with Coach Valvano and the pros with all the, the great coaches I've had. I was also fortunate to play with uh, a lot of uh, Hall of Fame and great players. Um, and I've just always been around basketball. I loved it. You know, on the court, uh, on the court uh, being a guard, you always feel like you're an extension of the coach. Uh, making sure, you know, as many aspects of the game, trying to execute the game, playing the right way. So coaching, I think, was, was a natural thing for me. Um, I love the competitiveness. I love the challenge of it. I love seeing the development of our players. I love seeing the, um, uh, the development of the team overall. Now, we all know you've played with some amazing leaders during your NBA career. Tim Duncan, David Robertson. What things did you learn from these men? You know, the first thing you learn is make sure they get the basketball and get out of the way a lot of times. I mean, you know, Tim and David are that good as players, um, but great teammates and uh, different personalities. Um, but but great guys, uh, great leaders, great teammates, and when when you're able to play with uh, those type of talented players, um, there's no question uh, it makes your game a lot better, makes your life a lot better, and, and you're very fortunate. Being a leader requires managing different personalities. For instance, in your case, you have 15 plus personalities to deal with every night. How in the world do you handle this? You know, as a leader, I think it's important you have to have a vision. And you have to sell it every day. And you have to make guys accountable on how the game needs to be played. Um, you know, buying into what we're trying to do, understanding what the game plan is, executing the game plan, which will give us the best chance for success, not individually, but as a team. I think guys eventually uh, gain respect. And more importantly, they gain, they gain trust because they're getting results, positive results, which builds confidence. And what young players need there's two things I always feel strongly about. They need confidence and they need opportunity. Oh, Derrick Rose brings down the Thunder with a two-hand jam. Let's talk about the progression of Derrick Rose from being the overall number one pick a year ago to the floor leader of the Chicago Bulls. You know, patience in this business is something that uh, is very difficult for people. And he's a young kid. We need to give him time to develop. But how he's handled being from Chicago, being the number one pick, um, being Rookie of the Year, and now in his second year making the All-Star team, you see the growth process of everything there with Derek, and that's just going to continue because he's willing to put the work in, whether it's on the court or in the film room, and he knows that. As he becomes more comfortable, um, you'll see him blossom with his leadership. 